Hello everyone, my name is Prashant and the topic for the today's video is Paginator. This video is a result of my blog article. I will share the link in, the, in this video description. So without wasting any time, let's understand Paginator concept in simple language. So to understand the Paginator, let's go to the IM console and check the number of use, IM user in my AWS account. So let me go to my AWS management console and let's go to this IAM. Okay. So you can see I have like close to 147 users present in my account. Okay. Now let's try to list out these users with the help of first by using a resource object and then later using a client object. Okay. So let me start coding for this. Go to three and I will use IAM is equal to boto3 dot resource okay dot IAM. Now to list a user using resource, let me go to the boto3 documentation, search for IAM, IAM, here we go. And we have the service resource. So let me open for service resource. Okay. And you will see something called users. Okay. So for users, we have the action called all. So let me go here and print IAM dot users, right? Dot all. So let's execute this code first and paginator.resource.py and you see we got a collection out of it. So for this, for this collection, we can use for user in right print. First let's print the user. And we see we got the list of all the users and dot name because I only interested in the, that name so we got all these um, let me add the count variable just to see the number of users we have count equal to one then count and let me increment the count variable So 147 users as expected, we, I uh, have got 147 users in my account. So resource object print all the users I have in this account. Let's try to do the same thing with the help of uh, a client now. Okay. So let me write, open a new Python file called paginator dot client dot so the python file right import boto3 again all the boilerplate syntax and client is equal to boto3 dot client and IA. IA. okay now in case of a client um, which method we can use to print out all the users so let's go to the client and there should be something called, if you go down, list users. Okay. So I can use this list user to print the users. Pretty straightforward, right? Print client dot list users, right? Oh. I'm mean, still executing that code, the resource one. Let me execute the client one. So it comes out as a dictionary, which is expected because this is a client. And you can, if you can scroll down, you will also see the response for this code. So we have a users, which is a dictionary, and then we have this username. So what I can do, I can use this users, right? 
and now it comes as a list so I can iterate over it for user in for user in print user first let's try to do this and out of this I can just grab the username right so so far it looks similar to what we have done for a uh, resource also right so let me add that clown count variable equal to one let me print this and increment it right count plus equal to one okay so it comes out as a hundred right but if you remember that I have got like 147 users in my account but the result of this execution via client comes out to be a hundred so now the question is is I am doing anything wrong and why I am getting this incomplete result why I am not getting 147 users okay so let's understand this so let me repeat this one by using our resource we got all our 147 IAM users right using a client I'm only getting 100 users right so now the question is is I'm doing anything wrong and the answer is no so to understand that in case of AWS client right when you are using a client certain operations returns incomplete result and to get the complete result you need to send out the subsequent request and this this whole process is called pagination okay so in case of a client there are certain operations right which result in incomplete result and to get the complete result you need to send out the request again or from the place where it has been left out and this process is called pagination so for most of the AWS resource the limit is 50 or 100 to get a 50 or 100 results that's why you're getting a 100 result in case of IAM the only exception for this is S3 where you are going to get the 1000 and for IAM it is 100 okay so let's go back to here go back to IAM okay and search look for this paginators and here you see for list users we have this paginators so let's use this paginator okay let me go back to my code okay paginator I'm going to use the client and get paginator which is going to list users right and then I will use paginator dot paginate okay I'm going to use this one or let me do one thing let me take a new variable called page underscore iterator iterator to capture the output of this which is going to paginator dot paginate okay this one now rather than looping over this client resource okay I am going to use let me use a new loop for user in page underscore iterator right first let's print this okay and let me comment out this code okay let me execute this code again now with paginator so now you are getting the this all these users one more time which is what we are doing it so far right out of this users right 
let me get the users, right? I mean, it's going to be the same process. And because this comes out as a list, I can run a loop again on the top of it for username in users, right? For username in users. print username okay okay for username in user okay i need to remove this okay and to further refine this output user and i want to Pick this key from this dictionary. Okay, now I can again use this count variable. I already have this count variable, so I can just use it count and let's increment this value of count. So you see, now we got all the 147 users using the client. So again, the bottom line is, if you're trying to retrieve more than one page of result, so more than one page means more than 100 in case of IAM and more than 1000 in case of S3. So for example, if you have like 143 users or 147 users, we are going to get a two page. First page, 100 users and second page the next 47 users okay so you need to if you are trying to retrieve more than one page result you need to use paginator to issue multiple api requests on your behalf okay so if you are using this you need to use the paginator if you are having a this uh, this much amount of users now the question is, what is the advantage of this? So the main advantage of using a pagination approach is that you are getting your result quickly. Rather than waiting for this entire 147 result, the command output will going to return you this 100 user. So the response is faster, right? So this is all about pagination. Okay. Thank you for watching this video. Bye.